I heard this story from one of the khatibs in, in a very profound incident. And he's talking about an incident of a young man of our time who commit a ma'asiyah, but he really repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This young man, the story of this young man is narrated by a stranger who just met that man. He said, subhanallah, he said, this young man, he traveled from Riyadh, from Saudi, and he went to a neighboring Arab country. And when he went for a day, one day business trip, he went and at the end of the day, he came back and he said, let me rest in one of the hotels so I may catch my flight early in the morning tomorrow. When he came to the hotels, he realized that the women who dress an Islamic and men are smoking and drinking. And he came to the counter, the reception, and he said, do you have any rooms available? And this man with the beard and thaw, and he looks like a person of a masjid. The man behind the counter said, Ya Sheikh, what are you doing here? This is not a place for people such as you. Such as you. He said, I just need one night to sleep. He said, if you want all this ma'asiyah, then you can stay here, but for, this is not for you. Leave. So I left, I left, and I sat in a park, public park, waiting for the time for the sun to rise so I can pray Fajr. And after sunrise, I prayed Fajr and went to the airport. He said, at the airport, I found little musalla, subhanallah. And in the musalla, he said, I slept like a baby because all last night I was up. He said, in the depth of sleep, my sleep, I heard someone sobbing, someone crying out loud, and he shook me. And I looked, فَإِذَا هُوَ بِشَابٌ A young man, you know, beautiful, handsome face, but he looks pale, he's so pale because he's been crying. And I said to him, مَا بِكَ يَا أَخِي What is wrong with you? He said, Can you sleep? I said, yes, I'm tired. He said, but I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. And he said, I said, inshallah, everything would be well. Just relax and sleep. But the young man would not stop crying. So I sat and I said, Ma bika, what is wrong with you? Qala ya akhi. I had everything that Allah would bestow on a servant. I had money. I had status. I had wealth. I have a wife and children. I'm a happy man. But the ni'mah of Allah was too much for me. So I want to change. I want some excitement in my life. I want some, something different. So I went with my friends who were coming out to this country. And they said, let us have fun. Let us enjoy ourselves. And this is how shaitan, brothers and sisters, this is how shaitan leads you to ma'asiyah. Shaitan will never ask you directly, disobey Allah, leave your salah, take off your hijab, or wear hijab that is half shirt sleeve, or wear something tight, or put makeup. But he will say, look nice. He will say, just take one step. People dress like this. And one step, one step, one step before you know it, the shaitan puts you in the court of ma'asiyah. So this friends, his friends, they say, let us go for scenery. It's a beautiful country. It's a freedom. It's not like Saudi, everything haram, haram. Let us enjoy ourselves. And first go to the mall. Second, go to the movie and see a movie. Third, go to a hotel. In the hotel that these ladies, these women, and bit by bit the man found himself committing adultery with the lady, with Iyadu Billah. He said, I rushed and I came back. And this is why I cannot sleep. That's why the tears of that person was dropping. It's a long story, ya ikhwati fillah, but it shows that if you really are repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you must show it sincere.